I get hassled because I'm a visible transsexual. My face without surgery is not going to change. My voice still gives me away. I am still six foot tall. I've got stupidly large hands and feet. People see these things and they notice. A few of my colleagues will ask me about transgender patients, but it's in some respects almost a deafening silence. People are very happy for me to do it so that they don't have to. When we first started dating, I was nervous that I would say the wrong things sometimes. It was an unknown world. I've met people on the road who see me as a guy, and I've also met people who like instantly peg me as a woman. And of course, how they relate to me you know, is different because of those perceptions. One of the hardest things in the process that people have to come to is what they have to actually give up to be totally who they are. I was married to a wonderful woman, so why would I transition when my transition ruined my marriage and everything? It was hard on my wife, but I couldn't not be who I am. I was having health problems that people shouldn't have when they're 25, and I couldn't sleep. Um, and I couldn't stand to be touched. Sexually, when I transitioned, things got better over about three years. Healing happened as I began to tell my story and educate people. One of our gender outlaw meetings, we asked a native healer to come and do a healing session for us. He told me that my gift was speaking and that I needed to go out in the world and tell my story and educate. Transgender people make you examine what parts of you are male and female. And a lot of people find that very uncomfortable. That cuts rather close to the bone and a lot of people would rather avoid than address. People say, oh, I've never met a transsexual before. Well, you know what? You probably have. You just didn't know.